Hey everyone, Debbie Repberg, Long and Foster, coming to you from 303 Willridge Circle in Forest Hill. This is a new condo that I'm going to be listing in Spenciola. And I know with the current events today, it's hard for, for many people to get out and look at properties. So I'm going to be doing a little non-professional walking tour of this property. This is the building right there, 303. It's a penthouse property and I'm going to walk around and have you see the view of the garage on the side of the building. I'm just walking around the side of the building so that you guys can see the parking garages. Our parking garage is the second one to the right. The space is about one and a half car lengths deep and I'll take a picture of that as well. And there is a storage unit in the lower level as well. Little gazebo off to the left. And then it is a secure entrance. And the mailboxes are located here within this first door. Of the entryway. And then a key code to get in. And you can see there's a secure door. Here's a video as we walk into the building. You can see it has an elevator. And this is the first floor. There's the stairwell, but we're going upstairs. You can see a nice roomy elevator. And we're going upstairs to the third floor. As you come off the elevator, there's a small sitting area up front. And you will turn to the left to go to our unit, number J, which is on the left. But also there is a stairwell here to the lower level, as well as another little sitting area upstairs, which is very nice. Next, we'll go into the home itself. As we enter the unit, you can see it's an open floor plan. You enter through the foyer to the dining room and you can see that you have the living room, formal living room on the right and the kitchen entry on the left. And here's the foyer with a nice hallway closet. So we'll start with the kitchen. It's beautiful. Notice the hardwood flooring throughout the unit. Oak. The kitchen has tiled countertop surfaces. You have a newer stainless steel refrigerator. I'll even do a little close up so you can see some of the controls there. You've got the soaring vaulted ceiling in the kitchen, nice lighting. You've got the, the taller cabinetry. So there is plenty of room for all of your dishes and glasses. I'll give you a close up of each of the appliances. There is the microwave. I know it was updated at some point. I just don't have the date on that at the current time. And then you have the electric stove a little close-up of the uh, control panel there and then the inside of the oven and what most people like is the double sink and it does have a sinkerator and then you do have your dishwasher and then my favorite feature is the pantry over here look at this magnificent pantry with the wood flooring also so here it is an eating kitchen and you do have space for your table as well as notice the overhang to put stools. So you have plenty of room for guests, for dining. And then off of the kitchen is a little sitting area, which you could use either this as a sitting area, dining area, whatever works. Um, the current owner is using it as a beautiful sitting area. And then if we go around the corner, you can see the living room the wood flooring, but this is a really neat feature. They do have the sunroom. So this is where we were outside previously. 
but you can see they have an indoor outdoor carpeting and then I went ahead and opened up the window so you can see that you actually can open up the window and get some air in here and then it does have barring safety barring at the bottom and then you can see out front where we were previously so it's nice that it's enclosed you can sit out here anytime and then here's another view of that living room and then the dining room and then the sitting area we do have a beautiful ceiling fan for air circulation not sure if I pointed this out before but with the dining room this is the most magnificent chandelier I really love it it's very different and then we have the hallway to the bedrooms notice the updated lighting here as well and here is the little BGE box for your thermostat and then check it out here's the laundry room it does come with a washer and a dryer and these are top of the line Maytag washer and dryer units you do have cabinetry here above the washer and dryer the basin tub that everyone loves and I was going to point out the water heater and the furnace but I also wanted to point out they did put some shelving above here and then there's also the electrical box. So hopefully everyone can see that. But let me show you this water heater and furnace. Take a picture of it later with some of the uh, serial numbers in case anyone wants to look it up. And then this is actually a newer A.O. Smith water heater. And you do see the expansion tank above and it does have the drain pan below and here's the flooring in here it's a vinyl flooring in the hallway as we proceed we have a closet yay just a standard closet with shelves with flooring in there and then we have our first full bathroom so you can see it has the walk-in tiled shower and it does have the grab rails, which is nice. And it also has an updated shower head, which I'll show you. Tile flooring, a beautiful vanity, large mirror, and here's your toilet. Again, just trying to give everybody a little bit more detail. I am going to post this on YouTube as well, so you can speed it up if uh, I'm giving too much detail, but this is the second bedroom here down this hallway, and there's a nice hallway closet here. And then this is the second bedroom, or a lot of people like to use it as an office, sitting room, guest room. It does have the vaulted ceiling as well as the lighted ceiling fan. And you can see out the front view, the beautiful wood floors. And then instead of a closet, they did remove the doors and they made it more of a desk area where you could insert a desk and they have some shelves above, but the track is still there. So you could easily put a closet door back on there and it is lighted. We do have the beautiful six panel doors throughout. And then I'm going to show you the master bedroom, which was just freshly painted. So there are some mirrors. I did not dress up today, so forgive my appearance. But again, just trying to give everybody a really detailed walking tour of the place. Lighted ceiling fan. Here's the view out the master bedroom. And again, just so much parking here for when you have guests over. And then here's the layout of the master bedroom. So you actually have three windows. You have a walk-in closet and a master bathroom. And check out the California closet in this master bedroom. Is this amazing? It was custom made. I know there's some items in here, so I apologize. They will be removed. However, the oak floors are in here. And this is just a perfect system for all of your clothing, scarves, shoes, even above the door. So here's your master bedroom and then your master bathroom. 
the tile flooring again. You've got the vanity with two sinks, the mirror. Let's have the updated shower head. And here is the beautiful large soaking tub. The updated faucet and the toilet. So the unit is very clean. It's been taken care of. It's a penthouse, so you won't have pitter-patter noises above your head, right? Here's that bathroom again. Let me show you the front again, your utility closet, and then I'll take you guys downstairs and show you the garage as well. But it's just a perfect unit, and I hope that this virtual tour helped get a better feel for the property. Coming off of the elevator, in the lower level, they have a secure garage with storage spaces. The door does lock, so people cannot enter into the building without a key. And the space, the garage space for this unit is right here. Uh, it's the empty spot. And just trying to show that it's about one and a half car length. So you can fit a car plus something else in there. It's maybe one and a quarter length on the garage. And then again, there is a storage unit and it happens to be right here off of the garage, number J. It is a keyed unit. And then there is stuff in here, but there is space for storage, which not every place has. So if you have any questions, give us a holler, Debbie Repberg, 410-404-9038, Long and Foster, office number 410-879-8080.